Need about 175 ml of white wine. Want to throw in two or three peppercorns. That's it. They're quite intense. We don't want to overpower the sauce. Want to use a bay leaf, a dash of vinegar, and we're going to add about half chopped shallot. Obviously, you peel out the outer layers. Cut the shallot in half so they're nice and stable. It's going to make it much easier to cut afterwards. And then I'm going to show you a little cutting technique. This is the way I like to cut an onion. A shallot is easy and it's going to save you a lot of time. But you do need to make sure that it's nice and stable. That's why we cut the shallot in half. I'm going to make long incisions all the way down. You need a nice sharp knife. And then very simply with good motion, cut through the shallot. Chop the end bits. And we're going to add that to the wine. Now this is going to have to reduce till about half or two thirds of the original liquid. So we're going to put up the heat, we're going to bring it to a nice boil. I'm going to keep a close eye because it will go quite fast. Chefs rave by it, home cooks are terrified by it, but today I'm going to show you how it can be done. It doesn't have to be too difficult as long as you get these few basics right of a nice reduction with the melted butter. We are going to want to split the eggs. We're going to remove the egg yolk from the rest. We don't need it. And the way I prefer to do it is with my fingers. It is the easiest way to split the yolks. Let the white run through your fingers. Get it all off and put it in the bowl. You're going to need three of them. Just be careful when you have sharp edges from the eggshell because they can cut open the yolk and it will split all over. One of the tricks is to crack them on an even surface so they don't splinter. Crack them on the edge as well, but you have a bigger chance of getting sharp edges and ending up with lots of egg yolk all over. Whilst this is reducing, we're going to melt a little bit of butter. On the induction, a small pot will be difficult to catch, so I'll put it on the grill and bring the heat up. You can melt it in the microwave, you can melt it just in a small pot, it doesn't really matter. But we don't want to change any of the flavor or the texture, we really just want it to melt. It's going to separate the fat from the liquids and we will pour off that beautiful clarified butter into the sauce to incorporate it with that freshness, with that tarragon and all together make our bear sauce. This will need another minute maybe. But I'll have a small fine sieve mesh and another small pot or ramekin that when, that when it's reduced enough, we can pour it off. We take the solids out and we'll have what they call a gastric ready for the sauce making. Now in the meantime, we can cut our tarragon. We don't really want the sticks. So we'll just take the nice leaves. We're going to chop them up thinly and we're going to set them aside. We'll add them last minute to the sauce. Now the easiest way to cut herbs is to organize them. If you have them all laying over and you're going to chop, they're going to be really uneven. So we're going to take the time to pack all the leaves, kind of align the leaves a little bit. And when you have that all sitting together real nicely, it's going to be really simple with a stroke of the knife. Cut. If you're not so comfortable cutting like this, you can just do simpler strokes. And that's it. That's all we need. It's really intense tarragon, so we won't need a lot. And we'll set this aside for later. And that is about perfect. That's reduced by half. That is exactly what we wanted to achieve. And we're just going to strain out the onions, the peppercorn and the bay leaf. There'll be about 150 milliliters left of this liquid. If you want to measure it out and you're not sure, that's what we're after. We'll let this cool down a little bit. We don't want to pour it off boiling on top of the egg yolks because it will cook the egg yolks and we only want that to happen in the end. So we'll leave that to cool down a little bit. Our butter is melting nicely. We're going to bring some water to a boil to make our water bath. Now we want to have 
gentle steam under there. We can't have it boiling really wildly. You have a chance of burning yourself, plus your egg yolks might cook too quickly. So we're gonna bring this to a boil, we're gonna reduce the heat. We're gonna leave it on, let's say, a mark three or four, so it just gently simmers. Steam is coming up, cooking your sauce slowly, but perfectly without the, the danger of burning yourself and all the steam. You can always play with the heat. Uh, if you feel it's going too quick, just turn it down a little bit and take your time whilst whisking up your egg yolks. I'll take a glass bowl here, that's for you to really see. Metal works really well as well, but you can't use any plastic bowls, they don't transfer the heat correctly. So it's either glass or stainless steel, and it needs to fit nice and snug. So like that, it's fitting perfect. I don't want the heat transfer to go too quickly. We want it to hang above the water, so the steam slowly warms up your egg yolks whilst you are mixing in the reduced wine and later on the butter. So this has cooled down nicely, we'll pour it on top. Mix it up. And then once the water starts bubbling slowly, we can put our mixture on top. Now here comes a little bit of technique. Me as a chef, it looks really easy. It's probably a little bit more difficult to get that swing out, but the idea is to turn eights. Little eights, but it can be up and down as well. A little trick most chefs will kill me for, but you can do this with a hand blender as well. If you have a handheld blender with a whisk attachment, put that in and have that will do the work for you. That works just as well. My water is boiling nicely. I'm gonna just turn down the heat a tiny bit. Don't want it to be cooking too quickly. I want it to go slowly and gentle. And you don't have to whisk to save your life. You can just do gentle swings. We have some time, this is going to take about two minutes before it's all nicely cooked and heated up. So just go at it slowly. Our butter is nicely melted. We have to make sure that we do not make that butter too hot. Because when we pour it over the eggs, it can uh, cook the eggs too quickly and make the sauce split. So that is going to have to be at a temperature of around 30 to 40 degrees. Once that's nicely melted, I'm just going to put it on the side. So it doesn't heat up too much gentle strokes making sure that we catch everything from the edges obviously all the heat is accumulating on the outside of the bowl so we want to make sure that we mix that all in real nicely you can already see that becoming nice and foamy but we're gonna have to bring this up to about 65 degrees centigrade to make sure that the egg yolks are completely cooked and the sauce won't split afterwards on the plate this needs to be a beautiful homogenous sauce where the butter is incorporated with the eggs and your reduction as you can see here, we have a gentle boil. That's exactly what we're looking for. Now you're gonna slowly start to see when the eggs are cooking and heating up, your sauce is gonna get thicker. And we're gonna have to be a little bit careful. By the time, we'll have to remove the glass bowl from the heat just before it's completely cooked because that glass is warm and it's gonna continue cooking the sauce. And it is important that we do not overcook our sauce. Let's see, it's slowly starting to form ribbons. We're not there yet, but we'll let the heat do its work. We're gonna start to see that it is coming loose from the edges. Nice all the way around the sides, making sure that the egg yolks don't overcook on the edges. And then I'll remove it from the heat. Let the heat from the bowl seep through and see where we're at. We might need to put it back a little bit. We might just be all right, but we have to give it the time. If we wait too long, it will overcook. already see that there's a nice consistency that's nice and thick and keep it moving until the glass bowl is cooled down. If we stop moving it now it's gonna cook all the way on the outside, We're gonna have lumps in our sauce, don't really want to have that but this is perfectly cooked, this is the consistency that we're after. It remains with nice peaks, it flows but it doesn't flow out completely. You can clearly see that this is like a mayonnaise consistency now this is a great point to add a little pinch of salt and we're going to slowly add the butter. Now I want to make sure that this butter is not too hot because if it is it will split the sauce. And we're going to add tiny bits at a time and incorporate it into our béarnaise sauce. If you pour too much butter at the, uh, at the same time it's going to split. So always do little bits at a time incorporate it nicely. It's a really delicious sauce, it's a bit of an effort, 
that once you master this, you won't look back. There's no better pairing to a nicely grilled steak than this refreshing and fragrant bayonet sauce, if you ask me. Now inside there, there's all the liquids. We don't really want to add those. We just use the fat part of the butter. We're going to discard the rest. We want to finish the sauce off with our chopped tarragon. and a squeeze of lemon. And that is that. Ready. This is a bayonet sauce. We wanna give that a gentle stir before we mix it. It's gonna set a little bit because of all the air that we have whisked in there with the egg yolk. So we're gonna give that a nice stir and you're gonna have a beautiful homogenous sauce. This is so delicious and refreshing with the tarragon running through it. It's really, really beautiful. Now you can serve your sauce on top. You can serve your sauce on the side. I'm gonna serve it on the side in this case. 